is Erica, and you're joining me on Energy Clearing for Life Force, the podcast. I'd like to talk today about new opportunities and just kind of like how do we invite in new opportunities and how do we embrace new opportunities? Yeah. So when something inside of us is calling or desiring to up level, then what happens is we shift out of our comfort zone because our comfort zone is staying the same. <laughs> Your comfort zone's always going to be like same colors or the same food or the same kinds of cars or a similar house, a similar guy. Your comfort zone is going to look and feel a lot like you are today, tomorrow. And they say like with weather, the easiest way to predict weather is to say it will be a lot like today in 24 hours. That's the most um, hmm, uh, best indicator of what tomorrow will be like is today. <laughs> so we say, okay, well, that's all very well and good. And I would like my life to be different. So now I'm saying, okay, I'd like my life to be different. So I'd like to have new opportunities. So it's really interesting when the new opportunities begin to show up, right? Because they don't feel comfortable. They don't, they don't necessarily feel like a big yes. They might, they might kind of be a yes, but they're like a yes shrouded in holy crap. What does that mean? And what will I have to do different? And what if I don't fit in? And what if I do something where I look different than everyone else, right? Who all of that. So last week I went to an event with people who are all financially, you know, probably 800 times better off than me. And I spent, you know, five days, no, four days with people that in, in a state of complete and utter luxury. It was really interesting, right? However, as I acclimated, <laughs> to the fine restaurants and the fine choices and the fine fabrics and the fine people, I, I could sense myself really really being open to change in a way that I haven't been in a long time. And I was able to shift things. And it really happened because I put myself in a place that was an opportunity that was absolutely out of comfort zone, you know, absolutely 100%. I'm a mom of three kids, and I've basically not been away from them much for 18 years. And I was away from them for three days, and that was uncomfortable. And then I was uh, in complete opulence. And that was, it sounds like that'd be really easy to get used to, right? But it was actually kind of strange. Um, I noticed that, um, let's see, what else did I observe about that experience? It was really fun. <laughs> It was really fun. So then I came home and I was like, yeah, you know, I, I really like to have my income 10x. You know, I really like to 10x my income. So I started looking at, well, what would that require of me to have a 10x of my income? And I've, I've, uh, I've done it before. So I've done it before. So I've, I've doubled my income, I've tripled my income, and I've 10x my income before. Where I live in California, it requires a lot of income. So I went, huh, and I got shown some new opportunities this week that are, guess what, guys, completely out of my comfort zone. Like, here's my comfort zone, and here's the opportunity, and it's like a mile and a half away. So when an opportunity is that far outside of your comfort zone, you might have trouble bridging the gap of it. So let's say you get shown yourself in a, a beautiful car that costs $100,000. Or 
or let's say you get shown a beach house with a view, right? And it's so far from your comfort zone that you can't get there in your head. So what can you do to say yes to an opportunity that is not completely like a linear next step? Well, here's what you got to do. So first you got to realize that some opportunities are going to seem crazy. So your rational mind is going to have to be given a little talking to, and you're going to have to suspend some of your disbelief. All right. Also, the past is not an indicator of your future. The past is an indicator of the past. If you change, your future will be different. So you can't look at your past behavior, your past expression, your past opportunities, and say, oh, I'm going to be the same, because you're not, unless, you know, you choose to be the same, which is fine. But, so now you've basically taken away the monkey mind's excuses for staying the same, because you've said, hey, I'm choosing something completely different, which takes me out of my comfort zone, which means I'm going to be shown opportunities that I, I can't quite get even like why I should say yes, right? Like, why is that a yes? Like, uh, so there's this bridging space of, it kind of feels like riding a bike with no hands or jumping from one cliff to the next. It kind of has that feeling when you're, when you're up leveling. And could you fall and smash yourself? Of course. So you can absolutely try something brand new that is, above and beyond what you've ever expected of yourself before and could you flub up oh heck yes you can flub up i mean i just cleaned that up i was actually thinking hell yes so so should i then not do it because obviously the chances are i could fuck up really bad <laughs> right so this is where you then go back into all right well where do I want to be in a few years? And what trajectory am I choosing? Just think about like climbing up a mountain, how much it can wind you and how being in the elevation can be different for your breathing, right? But if, you, if you're walking on the flat, it's so much less beautiful, <laughs> right? So I guess for today, I just want to say when you get those new opportunities, they may feel really uncomfortable. Uh, when you are having opportunities showing up to you that are uncomfortable, though, this is brilliant because it means that there's a crack in the armor of your misery. And it means that the lightness is saying yes to you. And the lightness is showing you ways you can shift things. So uh, I'm just getting a big like, go for it. If you've got a new opportunity that's like kind of um, at the edges of your consciousness, uh, you might want to be a yes to something sooner rather than later. And then, uh, yeah, keep me informed how it goes. You can reach me at energyclearingforlife at gmail.com. My name is Erica Glessing. This is the Energy Clearing for Life Force podcast. And I have a luxury course that uh, I believe I'll have openings maybe for just another day or two. And it's at energyclearingforlife.com slash life.